Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And if you're new here, my name is Edward Smith and welcome to my YouTube channel. And as you guys probably saw by looking at the title and thumbnail, in today's video, we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the JBL 305P MK2s. As you guys know, this entire week has been dedicated to studio monitors from looking at the KRK Rocket 5G4s, the Kali Audio LP6s. I'm also gonna be looking at the Yamaha HS5 soon. So if you are in the market looking for a decent pair of studio monitors around 300 to 400 dollars make sure you smash that subscribe button because there is a lot more content coming and you don't want to miss out finding the perfect pair of studio monitors for your home studio setup but without any further ado let's get into this video and have a look at these JBL 305p MK2s and see what they're all about So starting off with the unboxing, when you buy a pair of these studio monitors, the first thing that you get is the studio monitor itself, obviously. You get yourself a power supply cable just to power up the studio monitor and some paperwork which just gives you a little bit more information on the different models. If you just want a little bit more information on each product itself, it's not that important. You're probably gonna figure out for yourself anyway as you go along, but that is pretty much what you get in the box. And in terms of first impressions, I must say these studio monitors look a lot different than other studio monitors. They look to me a lot more like a modern type bookshelf, just wanna listen to music type studio monitor compared to other studio monitors that look a lot more kind of bland and just, you know, for the studio. These look a lot more like nice sounding desktop type speakers in my opinion. I'm not a super big fan of the shine and all of that. I like my colors and my studio monitor to be clean and matte black or, you know, just clean and simple, nothing too crazy. but the look is still quite nice. I like the gray touch in the middle here. I like the cone. I like this unique, you know, engraving down to the tweeter with the shape of the front. It's it's typical JBL, nice and modern, trying to stand out and it doesn't look that bad at all. Moving on to the back panel of the studio monitor, the first thing that we have is our XLR and TRS inputs. Both of these inputs are balanced inputs. So make sure if you go the XLR route, you don't have to worry about getting balanced or unbalanced cables because they are usually balanced already. But if you do want to go the TRS route, you do get unbalanced and balanced cables. And for these specific studio monitors and usually for studio monitors in general, you want to get balanced TRS cables because the unbalanced ones just don't work as well. And then we we also have a boundary EQ here that you can use to play around if you want to take out certain frequencies, have them set up a little bit better for your room. It's not close to as good as KRK's or Kali Audio's with their unique designs, but it is something unique. And then we also have a high filter trim over here that can go down minus 2 dB and go up plus 2 dB. When I test these studio monitors, I'm just gonna keep it on zero, but it just gives you more options if you wanna fiddle around and set it up better for your specific room again. And then we have our knob here for volume. Feels pretty good in terms of quality. And then we have our power input. And then right at the top here, we have our base reflex port, which is, in my opinion, nicer to have on the front of your studio monitor, like the KRK Rocket 5s and the Kali Audio LP6s, but it's not that bad to have them at the back. So overall decent features for the size and price of these studio monitors. So now that we've gone through these studio monitors in terms of look and design and overall features, it's time to move on to the sound quality test. And as you guys know, I do not like to do a sound quality Quality test without comparing the item that we look at to something similar and in today's video I'm going to be comparing these JBL 305p MK2s to the KRK Rocket 5 G4s I hope that this gives you a better perspective because I think comparing products to one another just tells you oh this product sounds better than this one and you might even be the person that have been looking at JBLs for the last week to months and you thought that these were the monitors for you but then you end up listening to these and you decide oh these sound way better and you change your mind so around the same size a little bit different in price not much at all but hopefully this just helps you get a better perspective and at the end of the day pick the right pair of studio monitors for your studio setup all this time i've been feeling hopeless till you came around came around all this time you're the only reason i'm not chasing highs Chasing eyes. What is love? Lately I've been wondering just what is love? What is love? I don't know. No one ever showed me I've been on my own for too long. But if you hold me now, let me into your heart. Maybe I can start to love again and tend to my scars. Can you show me how? Can you love me? Oh, oh, oh. 
So that brings this video to an end of my unboxing and review of the JBL 305P MK2 studio monitors and comparing them sound wise to the KRK Rocket 5 G4s. Just a reminder that the links of both the pair of studio monitors that we looked at in today's video will be down in the description below. If you have any questions about today's video, just leave a comment down below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you loved it, subscribe down below. And I will see you for another video next time. So,